Hello FS101 students and welcome to our first week. This is a brief video to show you how to navigate our course. On our course landing page you will always see a news item that I will change every week to update you. To get to the content of our course please click on content in the upper navigation bar and we will go to week one getting started. You will see a picture in this video. Then you will see objectives and a checklist for every weekly module. Modules will open every Monday and never close throughout the semester. So the objectives will tell you what you are working on in that module. And the checklist will give you an idea of everything you need to complete in that module. The checklist is in the beginning to show you what you need to do and your expectations, but then I do recommend going back to the checklist at the end of each module to ensure you have completed everything. You will be able to move around in our course by using the breadcrumbs at the top of the screen or the arrows in the upper right, and you can simply move from course page to course page. Each of these items is considered a course page. So in our getting started module you will see your syllabus. Please read the syllabus as your first reading assignment so that you will know the expectations of our course. You will also see a concept called professionalism which is one of the grade items in all of our foundational studies courses. I give you several pages of instructions for how to use Brightspace. If you haven't used Brightspace before, I highly recommend viewing this Brightspace D2L tour for students, which is like a sample course. And you should see that on the right side of your landing screen when you first log into Brightspace. As I said, there are instructional pages for how to submit assignments in our course. And if you are a Mac or iOS user, you will need to convert your documents from pages to PDF. There is a page about technical support information if you need additional help individually. You can also click on resources at the top of our course and see a drop down where you would be able to access information including from our learning commons, the Brightspace resources mentioned earlier, the tutorials mentioned earlier, and even tutor.com. Our textbook in FS101 is an Open Educational Resource, or OER, meaning our book is a free online resource. You do not need to purchase a hard copy book for this class. The textbook is available at this link on this course page in week one, and I recommend bookmarking or putting that link in your favorites so that you don't have to come into Brightspace and you can read your assigned chapters just from your web browser. You also are able to download a PDF of the OER. Perhaps you'd want to save that on your desktop on your own device. And you can request a printed copy of the PDF through the Hack Bookstore. This page in our module explains how to do so. In our first week, you are asked to submit a questionnaire and to take a practice quiz. So you will see those also posted in the module. All assignments are submitted in drop boxes in Brightspace. And again, there are instructions for how to do that. You will need to download the assignment, save the assignment on your own device, fill in and, and complete the assignment, save again, and then you will be able to submit using the Dropbox feature in Brightspace. You will always find Dropboxes in the module immediately 
after the assignment and you can see drop boxes as a drop down menu item here at the top navigation bar. There is also a practice quiz, basically your first quiz. No worries, just to get you to learn how to do quizzes in Brightspace. And finally, every module will have the same structure that you just saw with our Getting Started module. You will see the objectives and checklist, and then you will see the content and activities. Please read each course page in order so that you have the information needed for the activities, which in many cases would be an assignment or a quiz. We will also have some discussions as our way of communicating and collaborating with each other. The discussions are not graded individually, but they are graded as part of your professionalism grade which is just being an active part of our course. So again, welcome to FS 101 and good luck with your semester.